Good evening, uh, YouTubers. Uh, this is Jesse. Um, working on the F-150. Uh, give you some pointers on what you could do with respect to adding a tachometer uh, to your 1992 to 1996 F-150. Uh, if you do not have a tachometer uh, in your um, in your vehicle and you want one, so um, in order to do this job, uh, it's going to require a replacement of the instrument cluster. And by replacing the instrument cluster, um, you will then add a tachometer. Uh, to the instrument cluster and um, plug it in and hopefully everything will work for you. So kind of walk through how you have to take it apart. Uh, right now, um, I'm going to bring this over this way and uh, point the camera away from me. So here you go. Uh, right now, uh, you have the instrument cluster. I kind of had it taken apart here. Um, this is uh, the one that I've uh, uh, replaced but you can get an idea of how things uh, actually work uh, with this on the bench. So first things first, you're gonna have to take off this panel right here. In order to get this panel off, you're gonna have to do a couple things. One, you're gonna have to get this off, okay? In order to get this off, you see that inside here, there's a little tang, and then right here, you have a little spot right there. Um, you wanna take a little, a little pry a tool right there, kind of lift up on it, so you can actually pull this out of the bar that's actually on the light switch. Uh, after you get that out, um, you're going to have to be able to take off um, the actual trim pieces uh, in order for you to get this out. Uh, I'm going to show you that. So the trim pieces uh, simply uh, work. You have to work these off right here. Excuse me. It actually goes in here like this. this. This is it right here. You have an actual tab right here that goes in here. And then how would you do that? Uh, you're going to simply take a tool such as this, have the old snap on. You just kind of pry underneath here that will pop up and you don't scratch it you don't ruin it especially if it's in decent shape you don't want to mess it up that's what i did i pulled it out once you pull that out it exposes this screw right here on the other side it exposes the screw that over, that goes over here you could pull those up now once you get those pulled out um, this is being held in by uh, these right here these are actually on the top portions that are on top of there okay now there are tabs that are actually on this cover right mine were all messed up because apparently uh, this was taken off because someone put an alarm system on it and messed it all up but right here you have these over here that go in there and that will keep it from rattling okay so you could take that off and once you take that off you have the actual gas switch all right my recommendation is because these you know this plastic is 30 years old that you don't try to just pull off the connector because that connector is uh, kind of big and it's hard to get off you're better off just pulling the screws out if it's still in decent shape and then putting it that then uh, putting it um, back on when you're ready uh, if you pull hard on this you'll see what happens these little plastic pieces right here they're just formed they break off quite easy so uh, then you're basically dealing with a a loose gas switch and that's what i'm dealing with right now so anyways um once this is pulled off okay now you have an opportunity to look at the instrument cluster that sits inside of the vehicle that is simply uh, pulled out by these four screws right here on the white areas okay you have one you have two you have three you have four all right, so the tools for this job, once you have this taken off, is this right here. Uh, Ford, for some reason, uh, used some funky sizes. Um, it is a 730 seconds uh, for the smaller sockets that go into these areas right here. Okay, all these, all these screws right here, I think there's about nine of them. All right, you have a 730 second socket, all right? That will fit now if you don't have a 730 second socket but you do have torx bits you can use a torx bit and it's a t10 so a t10 can also do this job so right here you can see it's working all right so it's either a 730 seconds or a t10 now in order to get those uh those uh, other little um tabs out uh you'll have a 930 seconds all right that that holds these two in so you want to, as you can see, these are the types of bolts that go in there. Uh, they're also a, um, 
a Torx, but you can see it's a 932nd. It fits. Uh, I'm not sure why they use these stupid sizes, but they did. Okay. All right, so once you got this pulled off, okay, you're going to have a glass or a, a plastic cover. Um, and the plastic cover is going to cover a couple screws, but aside from that, it's, you know, they're all the same screws uh, that you're going to have to pull off. Uh, I, I did not have a plastic cover uh, on the one that I pulled from the junkyard, so I had to reuse mine. Uh, this was the old one, um, and as you can see, uh, I did not use the old one entirely. Um, it's because I used the centerpiece and I pulled the centerpiece out is because it has the odometer. The odometer is swappable, right? And uh, I took the odometer from mine and I put it into um, the replacement instrument cluster and everything else was, you know, basically a plug and fit. Now, um, if you're changing these over, you want to make sure that you're changing them over to like years, like 92 would swap with 92, and I believe 92 and 93 will swap with each other. But once you get to 94, um, there, were more, um, there were more wiring uh, differences. So you're probably gonna have to change over from a 94 to a 94. It may be 94 through 96, I think is the same, but I'm not positive. Someone might be able to correct me on that. But anyways, once you pull these screws off and you pull the cover off, you can see uh, that you expose all your gauges. I'll show you in the back. Okay, the only difference is between this gauge, which is the non-tack gauge, and the tack gauge is essentially the gauges themselves. But the printed circuit, okay, they all serve the same purposes and, and the uh, wiring uh, diagram is essentially the same all the way up to this point, all right? So by plugging in the wiring harness to a different uh, instrument cluster is not going to hurt the truck. Also, you have the ribbon cables. Um, once you get a tack instrument cluster, uh, this one will be vertical, but then this one will be horizontal, okay? But they're keyed, so don't worry about that. They can only go in one way. You can't put them in backwards, which is a good thing. Uh, I'd recommend changing all the light bulbs. If uh, you have light bulbs out, uh, this is the time to do it. You, uh, you have that opportunity to do that now. So now that you've seen the back of it, in order to get this out, it's just simple. It's just prying this out. You just have to kind of lift up on it. I'm only using one hand here. But uh, if you see that one just came out, right? So this came out right here on this side. You could pull out this side right here, which is uh, the cool side here. There you go. And it just slides out, right? So these, in this case, they just basically sit on top of the odometer, okay? So in the back, they're simply spaded, okay? So in order to put this one together, which is the non-tack one, you're gonna put the center cluster in first, right? You're gonna put the center cluster in, and then you're going to put these on top is because you have guides that they'll fall into. The other one is similar, but the thing is you have two You have two over here. So once you put this on, this one will will go next, and then this one will go next. It's because what they do is they have little tabs, and they kind of step on top of each other. So therefore, uh, it will work properly. On the right side, okay, as you can see, this, this is smaller, but this one goes in, and then um, this one goes in after that. So. If you're putting it all together, you should start off with the right, then this goes next, then this goes on top of that, and then this one goes on top of that. And that's it. Once you have them all back together, you just kind of line them up, push them in, line them up, push them in, and then it's as simple as putting the, this uh, and the glass part on, this on top, screwing it all together, plugging it in, Again, the keyways are going to keep you from putting something in backwards, all right? When you actually put it in to the instrument cluster, okay, you're going to actually put it in like this, okay? And then it's going to go like this. You can't just push it in straight. It's because you just don't have, because you have that curve on top of the dash, it's not going to allow you to just push it in straight, plus the steering wheel will be in the way. So if you put it in this way, plug it in and then turn it in like this, you'll be able to get that instrument cluster in, okay? Once it's all plugged up, okay, 
um, you're gonna see that um, you're gonna try to start it, okay? And if you're gonna go try to start it and see if everything is working, don't forget to plug everything in, okay? If you don't plug everything in, it may not start. In my case, um, someone put a alarm system slash uh, key lock system, so I had to make sure that that was connected up. But if you don't have this connected, you will not get power to your fuel pump. So very important, make sure this is plugged in uh, if you just want to test it out to make sure everything's working before you put the cover on. So in this case, I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna turn it on. Initially, when you actually try to start this up, all the gauges will be messed up, all right? It's gonna take a few minutes of running before this will actually go back to normal. I'm gonna start it up now. And as you can see, I have a full tank of gas. It's cold, all right? All my gauges are working, and of course, the tack is working, all right? And my odometer is working. I swapped that over, nothing got lost, everything is good to go. Now kick down, and I'll do a second kick down. It's wonderful, just because I have I have a five speed it's kind of important to have that tack uh, when you're doing some shifting so there you go guys I'm sorry about the dinging in the background and uh, that's how you change an instrument cluster from a regular instrument cluster to adding a tack to a f-150 1992 if you have any questions just ask away thank you and I hope I helped you good night